Hi, my name is John Capobianco, and I'm here with Selector AI and our Packet Copilot. Now, seeing is believing, and, I, and how can we reinforce trust? How can we test this tool with real world scenarios and real packet captures to prove the power of the artificial intelligence and of the RAG model approach? So, Palo Alto's Unit 42 puts out a Wireshark quiz and a sample packet capture based on a real world event. Today, we're going to test if the packet copilot can pass this month's quiz. Isn't that exciting? Is AI able to actually pass a human based packet capture quiz with nothing more than the PCAP? Let's check this out. So we're on Unit 42, paloaltonetworks.com, for January's Wireshark quiz. And let's just read the executive summary here. Welcome to January 2023, Unit 42, Wireshark quiz. This blog presents a packet capture, a PCAP, of malicious activity and tasks questions based on the information derived of the network traffic. Separate blog post presents the answers with details explanations. These quizzes are designed for security professionals who investigate suspicious network activity, but anyone can participate. To get the most benefit, readers should understand basic network traffic concepts and be somewhat familiar with Wireshark. Well, not anymore. Now you can upload your PCAP and chat with it. But let's see here. These material provides real world experience from real world live traffic. So they talk about this um, Tesla style activity from a possible origin logger infection and the infection and the mal spam and how this all started and write the requirements. You need Wireshark to analyze the PCAP, the quiz material. There's the GitHub repository where they give you the PCAP and the password is infected, right? So I've saved this as a, a, a standard PCAP without the password. So here are the quiz questions. When did this activity first occur? Um, can you identify the host? But the actual quiz questions are here. So here's the bullet point questions. And what we're going to do is actually give it some of the context first. So I think it's, you know, to give it the same um, level of information, we're going to take this prompt here. Welcome to the unit. So let's take this and stage it. So we're not going to ask a question yet, but we're going to upload the quiz. It's going to store it in Chroma, vectorize it, and then we can start doing inference questions about it. So what we're going to do is just paste that information in first. And then we're going to say, we will follow up with the actual quiz questions. Let me know if you have any questions. Send that. Is there any other context we should give it? Yeah, we'll give it this context here. And we'll give it the rest of the information as well. So we're going to send in that first prompt. I'm excited to dive into the 2023. Let me zoom in on this. This is a lot of fun. Excited to dive into the January 2023 Unit 42 Wireshark quiz with you. Feel free to send over the quiz questions anytime. If you have any initial questions, let me know. Some quick reminders. Okay, so now we're going to paste in that information as well as this information. Next. I will start sending you questions. I'm going to send that. Right, so this is the actual attack and they have the example in the peak cap that we've uploaded. And now let's go find the questions and we'll start to ask the questions and we have the answers over here. 
Now, I don't know about the timestamp question. Some of these questions may be better suited for human eyes. We're going to find out. But based on the PCAP that we've uploaded and the Retrieval Augmented Generation System, we're going to let this just finish. We're going to give it the context. And then we're going to first ask it, when did the malicious traffic start on UTC? Absolutely. I'm ready to dive in whenever you're ready. Okay. So, when did the malicious traffic start in UTC? And I'm going to say, based on the packet capture, just to give it a little bit more context, but it's, and we're going to send it. And we're going to find out how well this does. It's going to take a couple minutes. Should come back with 2023-0105 at 22.51 UTC. <laughs> okay, based on the timestamps, the first suspicious packet in the provided PCAP data, malicious traffic appears to have started at January 5th, 2023 at approximately 22.51.26 UTC. 2251 on the fifth. There's the answer. So it got the first one correct. The first answer is correct. And it even gives us the milliseconds, which the quiz answer does not. All right. So now the next question, what was the victim's IP address? And we're going to leave that prepended with based on the packet capture, because it needs to know that, that I'm not just randomly asking what's the victim's IP based on the packet capture that a human brain would have that concept. So we're looking for 192.168.1.27. The system that shows sign of infection is using the IP address 192.168.1.27. This appears to be the victim's IP address in the recorded traffic. Two for two. Let's try the victim's MAC address. What is the victim's MAC address? And we're going to send that. Notice I haven't opened Wireshark yet. Notice I haven't analyzed this at all on my own. We're manipulating metadata. We're turning it into JSON. We're vectorizing it, we're embedding it, we're storing it in a vector store, and we're doing a similarity semantic search retrieval system where the large language model has access to call K values, the top 50 values from the packet data. So let's see, what's the MAC? Starts with BC, let's put it side by side here. So BCEAFA2274FB. So it got the correct MAC address and it got the correct IP address. So now let's look for the next question here. What is the victim's Windows host name? Okay. What is the victim's Windows host name? And we're looking for desktop Win 11 PC. Okay, let's see. Victim's host name. We're looking for desktop Win 11 PC. Desktop Win 11 PC from the SMTP traffic in the unencrypted email. We have the information. So we're one, two, three, four for four. Four for four. Let's see how we do with the user account name. What is the victim's Windows user account name? And we're looking for Windows 11 user. Like I, I had no idea that it would pass even one of these, let alone all of these. And so far, we're 100% in the answers just with natural language and uploading the PCAP. And it's Windows 11 user. 
from the unencrypted payload, we are, we've got the username. Now the remaining questions, you need to open up the Thunderbird client. So I can't answer the RAM, CPU, public IP uh, information, but we should be able to ask what type of account login data was stolen by the malware. Uh, but that again, it comes from the email. So we've reached our limitation. However, right, if we go back to our original list of questions here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five out of five, including the username, host name, MAC address, IP, and what time the attack started. Just from replicating this quiz into the packet copilot.